With your new ViewSonic panel, there are a couple network settings that you'll want to make sure are configured in order to utilize things like VCast. VCast is for wireless presentation. If you want to do things like AirPlay services, there are certain ports that need to be open. In order to configure VCast, what you need to do is search for Viewboard Cast in your browser. So we're going to go to Google and do that. And you'll see that under the Viewboard Cast page, there's a download section, and then there's a user guide. When you open this user guide, go down to page 24, there's a troubleshooting section. If you scroll down, you'll see network requirements to use VCast, including ports, DNS for activation, and that AirPlay service information. Now, aside from VCast, a lot of your users will probably be using My Viewboard Whiteboard. There are also some configurations for Whiteboard to ensure it functions properly. What you're going to want to do for this is head over to wiki.myviewboard.com. We're going to search for what we call entity management. Under entity management, you'll see a white listing section under the contents. From here, you can check firewall settings, whitelisting, as well as various IP addresses that need to be enabled or disabled in order for whiteboard to work properly. So if you're having problems with either casting or using the whiteboard software, be sure to check out your network to make sure it's configured correctly.